Let me ask you a question. How does uh, being in the spotlight complicate any mental health issues for you? Oh, it's horrible. It's why I can't have the internet. It's just the worst. Uh, when people, you know, I have like not that great skin all the time. So like that's, I'm like, I guess I can't go out today. Otherwise I'll be called a crackhead for three weeks. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's, should I not care about that? Sure. But like how you feel about that? Like, how would you feel if someone called you a crackhead? Like it's, it's fucking, it's really annoying. I got a family and shit uh, and they follow my family. And it really, uh, it makes me feel better. It really rap takes up a lot of my time. Do you remember how you felt before you got in the industry? Before I got in the industry, I just wanted to get on stage more than anything. Yeah. And I just wanted to be a part of something. I never thought it would get to this level. And I never really wanted it to. I always wanted to just be like, uh, like a Burr or like uh, Mulaney. Not that I'm not saying I'm half as funny as those guys. But I really love their careers and I love their trajectory. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I got fucking you know jump started by uh, Ariana, and uh, you know when you get put in front of that type of an audience and that type of a lifestyle, it's like it's fucking those those people got to deal with a lot. Give yourself a little bit more credit than that, though. Yeah, you, you, you had a you had a name before Ariana. No, I did. You was on SNL. I did, but I'd be silly to like not you know at least uh, acknowledge. Uh, that like there was a significant boost. It was like uh, I it, respect it. Women do it the, all the time. Hey man, I was <laughs> I was like, do your thing. Like I'm just I'm, I'm your cheerleader now. Like I I want everybody to do well. I, right. I never understood wanting people to like fucking fail all the time. You know what I mean? Do you, you think the entertainment industry heightened the intensity of your mental illness? That's why I asked you, how did you feel before? Oh yeah, your career. It's made it's made it much worse. I'm much okay. more insecure, uh, much more unsure of myself than I've ever been. And uh, yeah, it's just like, I'm also like just embarrassed. It's just like embarrassing, embarrassing to walk what? around. Well, because you got to walk around, right? And like the, I don't, not reading all the shit, but like I, I don't know all of it that's out there. And then there's these people just coming at you and like, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Where some people, am I, is this guy going to run by and sing a song at me? Uh, is this guy going to say, seriously, <laughs> that yeah, is this guy, yeah, all the time at games. I just have to sit there and just... <laughs> Watch the Knicks, and just someone just be like, hey, hey, are you on? Yeah, just fucking, it sucks, dude, I'm not gonna lie, you know? Uh, so it, it, it's a lot, I, like, in order for me to go out, I have to plan it. Like, I used to not have to do that. I used to be like, hey, yeah, let's just go to this place. Like, now I have to, like, be like, hey, maybe we could do that tomorrow if X, Y, and Z works out. I remember when you asked me to go to a game, I'm like, yo, do you really want to go sit courtside at the Knicks game right Love now? Love sitting at the... That's one thing I'm never going to let them take away from me because I grew up watching the Knicks, sat, fucking nosebleeds, happy, happy as a clam, and uh, just, like, getting able to sit that close and bring, like, your boys and your own... That shit is fucking awesome, so I'm not letting them ruin that. You think you've ever hit rock bottom? Oh, yeah, I hit it all the time. Uh, no, you don't, man. Well, yeah. I, mean, I can't tell you what you Well, mean. my rock bottom yeah. is when, like, uh, people are scared of my life and I have to go away, and then I have to bring myself back up again. So, like, I think I've hit it a few times. And, uh, you know, as long as you're around good, supportive people, you should be able to, you know, and if you're strong enough, you'll be able to get out of it. What does that look like to you, though? What does rock bottom look like to Pete Davidson? It's usually like I'm a, doing a little too much shrooms and a little too much acid and just like having a little too much fun and uh, not sleeping, not taking good care of myself. Um, and then when you don't sleep and you have a mental illness and you're doing all this shit, it's just like, it's just, I think, what the lady, in, she called it rocket fuel. Uh, and, and you're taking your meds and all this mix of all this shit, you're, you're, you just go a little nuts. And I was on Accutane for a little bit, trying that shit, and that shit made me nuts. So it was just, uh, it's very manic and, and, and very sleepless. What is Accutane? Accutane is supposed to, like, if you take it for, like, six months, it gets rid of acne permanently forever, but it makes you nuts for, like, six months. And when you mix nuts with nuts, I thought it would cancel each other out. It didn't. It wow. just...